hey guys welcome back to akio project to this new video tutorial so happy weekend to you all it has been very long that i have never posted so actually we were very busy this why and had some difficulties with my computer so i was unable to create content for youtube but today i decided to give you guys this video since today is the weekend and i was actually supposed to post two videos today but because of time i'm going to do one video for today so i'm very grateful for all our fans from all over the world from indian from pakistan from the united states from nigeria from all the other countries and all seated we are very grateful to have an akio codec and akio codec is actually going in for 2000 subscribers and that is thanks to you so in the video of today of today we're going to be looking at one of a very cool trick that you can actually use at your home so at, at, particularly at this time where people are actually being conceived at their home because of the virus that is out so i'm going to show you guys how to chat using bluetooth so bluetooth is actually a so a software that is already embedded in an android device after its fabrication to actually send files but a while ago now bluetooth is no more used because other third party apps have come in like zender share it so but today i'm going to talk kind of about how to chat using bluetooth and you need no internet connection for this so how to send messages without this with using bluetooth so that is very freaking actually when you hear this you are going to think out how is this possible so it's actually possible to chat with a friend using bluetooth sending pictures audios and all the like so today what i'm going to need for this is that i'm going to leave out the link for the app that i'm going to download on play store which is actually called bluetooth chat so i'm going to leave the link as can actually so have two devices on the phone so bluetooth chat so once bluetooth chat is on on my first phone is a new device i'm going to give the name let me see i'm going to name it cam after naming it color the device i'm going to save here i've already set it up so ok you need to allow permission so after that permission is allowed you can actually scan to see the nearby devices so make sure the device has bluetooth and you need to turn on the bluetooth so allow actually yeah, i need also add and I then turn it on so allow and let us see what we get so you can actually see on my list i have a device so let us wait and see pair device let us wait found device and make device to be discoverable so let other people should be able to see my device so make it discoverable so allow so that other people can actually see my device so now let us scan for devices allow let me also scan for device let me also scan so you can see on the two phones i have iq codec on my lenovo and on my itel i have lenovo so i'm going to pair let's just click for pairing and see what we get oops unable to connect to let us lenovo let us get it back and okay let us pair and we are paired so we can actually start chatting so you can see you have a notification let us start chatting so you guys are going to see that this is freaky freaky awesome so for example i'm going to leave a message to Kem fabrice saying hello let us go into Kem and see what we get so hello let me send a message hello and you can actually see i have a message on my itel that is hello and i actually I, I can also actually reply and say hi in here so that will be good i can also send an emoji so let us i can send an emoji to my contact so you can see so this is a very very cool stuff actually if you're in your home and maybe let us say you're on the second floor and someone is on the first floor i need to send him a message i don't actually need to shout you can actually send this message to the person and please this thing would, would depend on the strength of your device so if you, if you have a good device this is running a powerful version of bluetooth is going to the distance is going to increase whereas if you're running if you're using a low device the distance of your bluetooth is going to reduce since bluetooth depends on the proximity of the two devices involved in the network so if you have a strong device you are going to be able to have a long distance in order to use this application so i said earlier i also free to send pictures so you can actually send pictures you can actually send let me see on this device i'm going to go in for photos so let me see you can send pictures so if i decide to take a picture so oops my battery is actually low so it's going to reduce so let me choose a picture if i take this picture 
and I send I can see the picture is actually here and I'll, I can also decide to send it to my other contacts so and that is done so actually that will be all about the video of today so please if it's your first time on IQ Codec, please click on the subscribe button and continue to watch our videos being seen so actually coming up with great content for you guys and i'm still very grateful for all our subscribers that are actually following us the wish train are you guys so have a nice week happy, happy new beginning of the week and wish you the best for this month of april so bye see you next on iq Collect.